Papa came down here, down that county road behind me with the mules, and they say the ruts were so deep that it was up to the belly of the mules. A lot of it was swamp, a lot of it was timber. In 1935, cleared a lot of the land with a crosscut saw and started farming. My dad and mom married in 55, 56. I hope I don't get that wrong. And uh, I came along in 64. And um, together, everybody built a farm with uh, our extended family, my uncles, my mom, my dad, everybody. Um, we farm rice, soybeans, corn, cattle, uh, and been doing it for a while. The soils here are mixed. They're anywhere from sandy to mixed to heavy, heavy clay, very poorly drained. Uh, we fight the Cache River that uh, uh, continues to flood due to, due to the um, the plugs, the beaver dams, that grubs that we need to get dug out. Today, we'd like to talk about the unfortunate inflation and in the, in the cost of, of things we're having to buy. This is really no different from what people out in town are having to buy. It's bad here too. I made a few notes. For a thousand acre rice farm, fuel is up $55,000 from 21 to 22. Um, our nitrogen fertilizer is up $111,000 per thousand acres. Um, other fertilized costs are up almost that much as well. The sad thing about it is there seems to be plenty of fertilizer available. It's uh, somebody just making some money here. The COVID hasn't helped. The close downs hasn't helped. The war in Ukraine, um, you know, that hasn't helped because a lot of fertilizer comes from there. But seems to be plenty of fertilizer in country. Next year might be ugly. Um, but it's been tough. Prices are up for our stuff. They're not up as much as these, as these uh, increases. It's just overwhelming when you look at it like on a, a, a 1,000 acre basis. I don't know where we're headed with this. I really haven't offered any solutions because I don't have them. But I know I need this to work out and I think the public need this to work out. This, this, this needs to work out. We're making a good quality product and uh, I'm proud to be part of it.